Hey everybody, my name is Allison Moscato, and welcome to the first episode of the Wine Lovers Vlog. Now, I'm going to teach you today how to taste wine properly by using the six S's. I'll explain why there's six. We're going to go through all of them, step by step, from my perspective on how to taste wine. Now, I am actually pouring the Goose Watch Melody. Goose Watch Winery Melody that is actually located on the west side of Cayuga Lake at the Finger Lakes. There's a lot of people who saw my post and said I was trying the dry Riesling. That's coming later, I promise you that. But today we're doing the Melody. This is a beautiful grape, a hybrid grape from Cornell University. And let's start out and try those six S's, okay? So number one, the first S is smell. When smelling the wine, just make sure that your nose is directly into the glass. There's no point in, in doing this right over the top of the glass. You know, you're not going to get anything. Or wafting it doesn't really give you much either. You want your nose right directly into the glass. Take a deep breath and you're getting so much from this. I Personally, I do. A very tart note, which indicates melody means semi-dry Riesling-esque means Granny Smith apples. That's where the tart note's coming from. If you can't find them, that's perfectly fine. Go to the grocery store and smell everything. Spices, the fruits. Yes, you might look like a weirdo, but trust me, that's where all these wines are coming from. That's where all the aromas are coming from. Go to the grocery store and smell these stuff. I promise. You'll understand once you taste and smell these wines, okay? Mm, okay. Beautiful smell coming off, like I said. Um, so right now, number two, swirl. Now there's three different types of swirling you can do in your hand. Do like this. Swirl it with your hand on the table if you're not comfortable. And then you can also do the cover-up. Put your hand over the top of the glass and swirl it this way. Okay, what this really does actually holds in all the aromas. So after you lift it off and smell it again, which is the third S. There's a lot more popping out at me with this third S because of the amount of aeration, the swirling, that's what it really is. Aeration of the wine. And right now I'm getting a lot more of the creamy note. Melody, known for vanilla, known for honey. That's where that creamy note's coming from. It's a beautiful, beautiful wine. Perfect for poultry, by the way, okay? Also, number four, sip time. No one sipping, guys. Make sure that the wine coats your mouth and actually gives you enough depth, okay? And you'll notice if you really didn't get enough, it didn't really coat your mouth. Make sure you have enough in your mouth. Make sure it coats your mouth, okay? Now, right now, I'm swallowing a lot. That means my salivary glands are in overload, and that also means high acid, okay? And that's where the Granny Smith apples come from. That has given me the high acid content Middle of the road alcohol content. I can definitely there's there's a warmthness in my in my chest and in my throat, medium, and then this is just pulling all the things we noticed in the previous smelling part. Okay, I'm tasting the Granny Smith apples. I got a little creaminess at the back end. That's not just the alcohol talking. That's a creamy note, and then also I'm getting a lot of citrus with the lemons with the limes. A beautiful beautiful wine that just it just speaks to you if you. Give it a chance, I promise. Okay, and number five, I always go smell again. Now, if you're really not getting it, not getting those smells, smell something neutral first. Because we've been doing a lot of smelling of the wine. Just smell something neutral, smell your arm. And then go back and smell it again. What a difference that makes, at least personally. Wow. Still getting the Granny Smith apples, but also you're getting more of the lemons and limes. I didn't get the first time when I'm actually the smelling part. This I'm getting more lemons and limes. A lot more of the of the tropical citrus aspect of this wine. It's a gorgeous wine. And then number six is sip again. This is going to be good. Oh my. Yep. Giving you all the aspects you wanted in the first place. Right off the bat, like I said, high acid. I'm still drooling here. So my salivary glands in overdrive. 
but it's a fantastic wine. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. That is the six S's of tasting. Now, that fifth S, you can always intertwine, intertwine a little bit. I do smell, but people do sip, swirl, sip. So it would be the first S would be smell. Second S would be swirl. And then you smell again for the third S. And the fourth S would be sip. Adding one more S. I always do smell, but you can also do swirl, giving you more of the aromas popping out, okay? And then you go for the sixth sip, okay? So the fifth one is inter interchangeable between the smell and the sip. Kind of varies what you want to do. And adding those two extra steps to your tasting. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tasting. I will be back next Tuesday for all of New York doing the Finger Lakes, Hudson Valley, and Champlain. So look out. You're going to see a lot more coming from the Finger Lakes right now. Also, guys, like me on Facebook, like me on Instagram, like me on Snapchat. All the info is down below. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy.